Hello everyone, I'm Rahul Nagaraj from Drive Spark and today we are riding the EV Xenia. This electric scooter is from a relatively new brand called EV India and is predominantly available in the northeastern part of the country. So how does it compare against its rivals? Let's check it out. We've had the electric scooter with us as a long-termer, allowing us to comprehensively test each aspect of the Xenia and how it fares as a daily city commuter. Starting with the design of the EV Xenia, the electric scooter comes with a sporty stance accentuated by sharp cuts and creases all around. The front of the electric scooter is mainly characterized by the large headlamp unit featuring LED lamps with integrated LED DRLs. The scooter also features LED DRLs on the top apron as well. The side panel has minimalistic design elements with just the Xenia stickering on either side. The electric scooter also features a wide seat which offers a good amount of comfort for both the rider and the pillion. There was also a large grab rail at the rear which helps add to the comfort for the pillion. Apart from this, the rear profile also comes with bright LED tail lights flanked on either side by turn indicators. In terms of features, the EV Xenia is offered with a digital instrument cluster which provides information such as the battery charge percentage, riding modes, trip and odometer. Behind the front apron, the electric scooter also comes with a USB charging port allowing riders to charge their smartphones on the go. There is also a decently sized storage space here to keep essentials such as phones, wallets and other small items. So there are two ways of charging the scooter. First is the conventional method using the charging socket given here. While the second is the portable battery which can be removed and this can be charged either at your home or offices using a wall mount. So to ride the scooter you have to first take it out of the park mode and to do that you press the brake and the park button for 3 seconds and then you ride off. Coming to the specifications of the electric scooter, the EV Xenia is powered by a 250 watt hub mounted electric motor mated to a 60 volt lithium ion battery pack positioned in the boot. The electric powertrain gives the scooter a top speed of 25 km per hour while its range is between 60 to 65 km on a single charge. In terms of performance, the EV Xenia offers a good initial response off the line, however, there isn't much to boast about once the scooter gets going. With a weight of just around 80 kg, the electric scooter feels extremely light and is easily flickable. The large 10-inch wheels further offer good levels of grip and stability under both wet and dry conditions. The seating position on the electric scooter is comfortable comfortable as well. The Xenia does, however, come with a slightly high footboard which might cause a bit of an inconvenience for taller riders. The suspension on the Xenia is slightly on the firmer side and while it does manage to soak in smaller bumps and irregularities with relative ease, larger potholes can be a bit painful. What's really impressive though are the brakes. The EV Xenia comes with a dual disc setup both of which offer a sharp bite. The disc brakes at the front and rear help bring the electric scooter to a stop almost instantly which is especially helpful when going downhill. The scooter has a maximum payload of 140 kilograms and pulls its weight even on steep inclines rather well. Another important feature on the EV Xenia, as some of you might have noticed by now, is that the electric scooter doesn't have a number plate. This is because the Xenia falls under the low speed e-scooter category which allows customers to legally ride the scooter around town without the need of having it registered. Riders don't even need to have a driving license which further makes it a perfect two-wheeler for college students. However, with the electric scooter priced at a little over rupees 72,000, it could potentially put off a few customers. So there you have it. That was a review of the EV Xenia electric scooter. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share and subscribe and stay tuned to all our social media channels. And until next time, stay safe.